Yeah, no pressure, bro. So how you came up with the name so hot? Uh, I don't know. When I was little, I said I don't know. And then I was, <laughs> when I was little, I used to always ask my mom like, "Is something wrong with me? Like, did she drop me on my head or something like that?" Cause like I'm just, a, I always been called hyper. You know what I'm saying? I thought I always, I still think I got a problem. It's just like my mom go, my mom literally always on the, you know what I'm saying, swivy stuff like that. So I'm always into something. I always got mean ideas and I always want to do something. So just so hype. It was a, it was a lot of different names though from the beginning. We ain't going to talk about those. But. <laughs> so I, um, well, how was the beginning of it when you first set up? Like, what was the uh, team like? How was it like? What was, um, it, what was the setting scenario? Like, I what was, mean, for me, like you know where we come from, it's a lot of people that started clothes, you know what I'm saying? And I say didn't really they probably committed to it temporarily. Yeah. But they never really committed to it all the way. So I say to be honest with you, I really ain't have a I ain't have really nobody to look up to or get guidance from. So I really was threw myself out in the water by myself because I didn't know where to start, you know what I'm saying? So what motivated you to keep doing that? Cause you I ain't no you quitter. Never had it. Cause I ain't no quitter, and a couple of years from now, I want to be able to. I want somebody from Hansville to be like, oh, I know I can make it, cause you know what I'm saying. Greg made it, and he doing it big. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. that type of stuff. So what were some of the problems that you face? Shoot. You know, being a business owner, entrepreneur. You already know, you know. Getting the um, getting and creating a team. Uh, I'll say sacrificing. Like I call it when I'm talking to my partners, I'll be like, shoot, next couple months I'm thugging it. When I say that, it might mean like my next drop might be like it ain't nothing for me to put three thousand dollars into, into a drop. Like this drop right here, this and these track pants. <laughs> Let yeah. people see now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I put you know upwards about twenty five, no two thousand into this. So it's like, dang, should I go to the club this weekend? And you know what I'm saying? You know, a lot of sacrifices. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And, I say it's not 